At Turkey's main crossing into Idlib province, Syrians take advantage of a rare border opening. Dozens of people arrive from across the country, but most are from Idlib. And that's under the control of a group that was once part of al-Qaeda. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham. If Turkey, Russia and Iran's agreement for so-called de-escalation or safe zones inside Syria goes to plan, then the group will lose its power. The situation in Idlib is somehow stable. There is only some military grouping, but all roads are open. There are no problem. There are some violation of airstrike by both Syrian regime and Russia on the de-escalation area. The Turkish operation is very good and most of the people support the Turkish intervention to establish a stability in the region. People were so happy during the ceasefire, but after both Syrian regime and Russia breached the deal and started carrying out airstrikes against civilians, the situation became worse. We hope safety and security will be re-established in the region. On Monday, the Turkish military announced its first deployment of troops inside Syria. It says they are on a reconnaissance mission to scout for areas where the military can be positioned to monitor safe zones. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says there will be a serious operation in Idlib. So far, it's a modest start. Turkey's artillery is positioned on the border and has been firing into Syria. It's backing fighters from the Free Syrian Army who've already been sent in. But Turkey's military hardware, including tanks and armoured personnel carriers, are for now staying on this side of the border. Creating safe zones inside Syria is ambitious. On Sunday, around a dozen people were killed when an airstrike hit a busy market in Idlib province. Syrian monitors say September was the deadliest month this year for civilians. Nearly 1,000 were killed and one in five were children. As more military equipment moves to the border, the stakes for Turkey, Russia and Iran become increasingly high. Syrian people are waiting to see whether their plan can reduce the conflict. Or will it be another failure in a war that has lasted almost seven years? Nicole Johnston, TRT World, Hatay, on the Turkey-Syria border.